There are three different types of points on pad system. Regular, mark, control. Let's take a look at how different they are. Hi, if you're new to here, my name is Jean and I post pattern making tutorials every week. If you're interested in pattern making or want to learn pad program, please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss new lessons. If you're using pad system already, you know it has three different types of points. Regular, mark, control. On the screen, regular points are square. I'm not sure if you can see them clearly because they are very small. And you see the round one, this is mark. And control points are diamond shaped. Control is very obvious, it's for curved lines. Uh, wherever you see curved lines on the pattern, you will find this type of point. It is called control. And the point control are not on the lines. They are out of the lines and make the lines curved. The far from the line, the more curved lines you will have. If the control point is right on the line, you don't have to have it actually because it's pretty much straight. If I delete it, see, it's the same. Then let's see what's different between regular and mark. Both are basically the same to make straight lines. Let me draw a rectangle. As you can see, I have four regular points on all of the corners. So if I select one segment, it selects the line from one regular point to the other regular point. If I add a mark point in the middle and I select the segment again, it still selects the same line, right? No matter how many mark points you have, when you select, you will have the line from regular point to the regular point. Here's an example of a pattern piece. We made a front facing from this front body last week, remember? If you want to learn how to create front facing from the front body pattern, I'll put the link at the end of this video. You can find it in the description box as well. Let's see this front pattern again. I would like to have regular points on all the main corners of the pattern. So when you want to measure, let's say shoulder length, you click the shoulder line with the pointer tool and you can measure the length with segment length tool. If this point was mark instead of regular, you click shoulder line and you see it selects shoulder and armhole together because those two points are regular. If you want to measure the front hem, you click the hemline. You see it selects only this part because we have a regular point here. I have this point here intentionally to cut out the seam allowance. So to measure the hem, you have to select this segment as well with shift key. Then you can measure the front hem length. You can change this point to mark if you want, but I want to keep this as a regular point because whenever I need to change this length, it's easier to select and move the point. Let's take a look at the armhole line two regular points at both ends and I have two mark points with the nudges and three control points. Let's say we have more points on the line, whatever the reason, but the curve shape is exactly the same. When you need to revise the armhole shape, if you have a lot of points on the armhole line, it's so hard to revise. And if some of them are regular points, when you want to select the armor line to measure or to add a seam allowance, you have to select all segments one by one. When you're just practicing pad with 
one piece of pattern, it doesn't really matter if the point is marked or regular. But you work with 10, 20 pattern pieces for one style and you have 10, 20 styles even more. You definitely want to have proper point setting. It'll save a ton of your time. Here's a video on how to create front facing. Please click the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're learning pattern makings. Have an awesome week and I'll see you in the next video.